Welcome to the Pasta Queen's Kitchen. I'm here today again with my brother Agostino. You should follow us on TikTok, by the way. Pasta Queen on TikTok, Pasta Bro. We cook together most of the time on my channel. And sometimes we publish funny things on it. Anyways, <laughs> let's back on point. Today, we are making a classic Roman spaghetti cacio e pepe. Cheese and pepper. Exacto. This is a special one to us because we're from Rome and it's just the most delicious, simple dish. Let me show you the way. For this recipe, we're using literally two ingredients. The cheese we use is a pecorino romano and we're going to be grating it ultra fine. It's very important so that it doesn't clump. The next one is fresh peppercorns. We're going to be grinding them just before we cook the recipe. Mm -hmm. It's very important for the taste. It just releases the magic, okay? Very good spaghetti. And we're using the spaghetti from Gragnano, which is a little town near Naples. These are dried at low temperature and slow dried over three to four days. And they're made with a bronze dye, which means that when they come out the other end, it's got a very rough surface. And you're gonna need that to make sure it absorbs the cheese just perfectly. What, why is it shaped like this? Well, this is because the manufacturing of this pasta used the whole method, so they, they went to hang like that. So they actually Sorry, take the shape of the anger. I mean, I think it's a more of a romantic thing because, <laughs> because obviously that's how you used to do it in the old times, you know? They're just lovely. I love this company that makes the spaghetti. I'm gonna link them down in the description section, but um, let's get going with the recipe. This sauce is so easy to make. You don't actually cook the sauce. We make the spaghetti first and make sure that you save that precious pasta water because you're gonna need it. And I'm gonna show you how. So it's, the pasta water is boiling. We're gonna put the pasta in. Now let me teach you the secret of the creaminess of the cacio e pepe sauce. All we need is the pecorino romano, ultra fine. Make sure you also choose a young pecorino that has not been seasoned for too long. And we add the pasta water so that the starch will have already been so that the starch will have already been released in the water and will help make that dreamy sauce that all of you know. Okay, so you see this cream? You need to kind of eyeball the amount of water that goes in, but we put 30 grams of pecorino cheese per person. So I use about a little full of water, but you want it nice and loose. You don't want it too creamy, because once you put it in the spaghetti and finish the cooking, it's gonna get to the perfect consistency, okay? So that's what you do. I'll give you a little secret. Because a lot of people have contacted me and have asked me why and how come their, pas their pasta gets clumpy. Now, if you use the pasta water, the starch will make sure that the protein of the cheese doesn't make it lumpy, okay? So all you gotta do is use your pasta water, but pasta water that has already the starch in it. So once the spaghetti go in, you use the pasta water and that's how you do it. Okay, next we're gonna scrunch some peppercorns. They need to be fresh, okay? I'm putting about a teaspoon full of peppercorns. There you go. And now we toast it. Perfect. The spaghetti is about two minutes away from being ready. Let's do this. Now, why do you toast the peppercorns that have been freshly ground? Because it releases all the magic. I wish you could smell it right now. Just give it a little shake. And the spaghetti is about to arrive. And they will mix seamlessly. And I'll show you. Ah, so, uh, Sandra. Mm. 
Ci serve anche 30 secondi in meno. Mmm, it's perfect. Questo è fatto? Mmm, mm, smells oh so my good, God. guys. Uh. Guys, the pasta is perfectly al dente. Check out my aglio olio to know what al dente means, but let's stick it in. Yes! Now the next thing we're gonna be doing is adding the magical sauce. Look at this. Okay, now we mix it in. We're gonna mix it vigorously for a couple of minutes, okay? Until the pasta, who's got the rough surface, is gonna collect all the cream and make it even more starchy and creamy and perfect. Now, Ago, just add a tiny bit of pasta water with a ladle, just a tiny bit. You have to really like judge it because you've already added a lot of pasta water to your pecorino cheese, but just a tiny bit, okay? I'm gonna show you in a second mm. how you want it, okay? But the pepper is perfect. And we're gonna add a little bit more afterwards. But you see how it's creamy? but not too sticky and it's not clumpy whatsoever. Now, this is my secret. I should really get paid for this. <laughs> so write to YouTube and let them know. But this is how you not clump, you don't, this is how you don't clump your cheese. The pasta water, guys. It's a gift from God. <laughs> We're ready, you need to serve it fast. All right, look at this spaghetti, guys. Let's roll them in a ladle. Let's roll them in a ladle, just like this, in the, a nice roomy ladle for a nice chunky portion. Then you go down and you go like that. And there you go. So now we take a little bit of cream, a little bit more cream. Now a scrunch of pepper, why not, a little more. Just a sprinkle of pecorino cheese on top. Ooh. That's it, that's all you need. That's perfection, guys. Mm. Let's taste it. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. It's so good. Okay, guys, listen, I gotta go, I gotta go and eat right now. Can't be charging anymore because it's too good. <laughs> And remember, you gotta eat it right away. It needs to be hot as you're eating it. Please follow us, subscribe, check out our TikTok and Instagram as well. The Pasta Queen, Pasta Bro, and see you next time. Bye!